So welcome back to Yang Yang Table Tennis Tutorials. Today, I will introduce you a new technique that gives you a different way to smash a high ball and the most likely to finish the point, which is called chop smash. So what is a chop smash? It is a smash that with a chop stroke, instead of a forehand or backhand regular smash. Why do we use chop smash? Because the underspin we put on the ball by using the chop smash and the wear trajectory makes the opponent harder to block back. When do we use a chop smash? There are two situations that you could use the chop smash instead of a regular smash. First, when your opponent returns a short or uncomfortable placement that you don't have time to adjust your position and do a perfect regular shot, you could use this chop smash because this stroke only requires a small movement like this. So you don't have to do a big swing or use your body strength to do the, the one like a regular smash. Second, when your opponent returns a heavy underswing ball or weird side spin ball, it is hard for us to do a full regular smash. We may have a high chance to hit the net or miss the ball. So instead, we use the, the chop smash. When you use the chop smash, you have to make sure that the coming ball is short and a little bit high, not too long, not too high, because if the ball is long and high, it's better for you to do a regular smash. All right, let's take a look at the breakdown of this technique. Stance. Stance is based on the position of the ball. But since we are using the chop smash, so it's better to get closer to the table. It is a chop smash, so the stroke is similar as a regular forehand chop. But the difference is, is instead of swing back and bring it forward, this time you will need swing upwards and goes downwards more because the coming ball is a high ball so you have to lift higher and bring it down more. If you hit downwards more, the ball will bounce vertically and higher on your opponent's side. It is harder for your opponent to return. Racket angle. Not like a regular chop, you open your racket like this. For chop smash, you will have to tilt your racket like this and almost vertically brings down. The best timing to achieve this technique is to hit the ball on the rising time before it drops because if you wait too long until the ball drops, it decreased in accuracy and even you hit on the table, it wouldn't be as powerful as you hit on the rising time. For chop smash, we wanted to generate heavy underspin and more side spin. So we wanted to contact the ball on the side and the bottom part. Here is a simple exercise that you could practice by yourselves to help you improve this technique.
Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. This is a technique that not many coaches have talked about before. So please leave your comments and let me know your thoughts and questions. I would be happy to help you.